morning everyone and thanks for tuning in to Chronically Crazy. This is our first vlog and now that I've been informed of all my blog etiquette and making sure I'm doing it properly, let me try this again. My name is Sarah and I am the mom of Eliza who's 13 and Andrew who is 10, he'll be 11 in a month. Um, and we decided to start a vlog to first off keep up with family and friends who are far away, second to have a cool family activity that we can all work on. Um, I'll explain more about Eliza in a little bit, but this is mostly to help her find something to do. Uh, let's see. Eliza, she is 13, almost 14, and she's a girly girl. Into everything, makeup, hair, clothes, everything that I clearly am not. Um, she has POTS, which is basically a condition that affects your heart rate and blood pressure and causes her to get really dizzy and exhausted and spend lots of time in pain um, and lots of time in her bed. She, um, she really suffers with that. She's had a migraine since like September 6th that hasn't gone away. So today we're off to a hospital in Philadelphia to get her looked at. I'm back. Eliza had to come and try and listen to me because she thinks it's funny that I'm sitting out here doing this, even though this was her idea. Um, so yeah, so we're driving to Philadelphia today to meet with her cardiologist to try and get some answers and some treatment and try and get her feeling a little bit better. We were impatient like two weeks ago for an entire week and started on some medications that seemed to help, but we're still using a wheelchair and she still spends lots of time in bed. So part of the reason for starting the blog was, number one, she is really into videos and making that kind of stuff. And number two, it will give her a chance to be part of our family and to do something for herself by editing and creating and publishing all this stuff. That's all on her. I have no idea how to do it. I had to be instructed on how to do this. Andrew, he is almost 11 and he is all boy. If I could just turn this video around for a minute and show you the effects of Andrew. Here we go. This is Andrew and officially trashing the living room every single day. We have soccer balls, we have baseball hats, we have soccer bags. Oh, the baseball gloves over there too. That side of the house is always a mess because it's always involving Andrew. He walks in the house every day from school and literally covers the entire couch with every single thing that's his. He does his homework there, he organizes baseball cards there, he watches sports on TV there, everything. So the couch, no one can sit on because Andrew has always taken over. He plays travel soccer and baseball and is really good at it. He is thinking of taking up football, but his dad is not sure if he's allowed to do that. Um, moving on. Pete. Pete is my fiance. We are getting married on November... November, listen to me. On December 31st, in 73 days, I met him a few months ago, and we went on our first date March 9th and instantly fell in love. He is the man I've always dreamed of being with. He is the person that is my rock. He's the one who keeps me sane through all the illness challenges and the boy drama that goes on in our house and basically everything. He he's amazing and when they say you know you fall in love and you know and it's your true love well you just know I mean I knew from the moment we went out that he was gonna be my husband so I'm excited for our big day we've been working and planning and doing all those kind of things we booked our honeymoon the other night which was so exciting we're going on a cruise which neither one of us have ever done and we Pete has never even been out of the country so this will be exciting to see him in some of the markets in different countries because <laughs> Those people, if you've been there, you know what I mean. It's very different than um, going to the mall here in America. So we're very excited, busy planning that, um, lots of doctor's appointments. I stay home full-time with the kids because um, Eliza does virtual school, and so some days I'm helping her do virtual school or attempting to help her, telling her that she has to wait for somebody else to get home because chemistry and algebra and all that stuff. Yeah, it's just not me. I taught preschool. So I help her with that. I also help her, you know, some days when physically she needs help. Um, there are days where I have to help her get out of bed. I have to help take her to the bathroom. I have to help her take a shower. I mean, it really just depends on how her 
symptoms are doing that day. Um, hopefully, with the doctor appointment today, we'll get some more answers so she can feel a little more independent. So, we're going to do this every day. I don't know what it's going to bring. It could be quite crazy. It could be quite interesting. It could be very, very boring. Um, I don't think our life's boring because there is constant commotion going on. If it's not Eliza and Andrew being best friends, it's Eliza and Andrew beating each other up. If it's not um, us sitting watching TV, it's Pete and Andrew um, being absolutely crazy and throwing darts and sticking them at each other. Insert picture here of darts. Um, they are all kind of crazy. My mom lives with us. She lives downstairs. Um, she has a living room, a bathroom, a bedroom, all kinds of mammy things down there. Um, but none of us could live without mammy living here. She is too much. We love having mom here. So here's the first update for today. Who knows what the rest will bring. Talk to you later. Thanks. First day of the day, we're going to Andrew's school. And we're running clean. We're never late. I don't know why we're late. Because you were working on that vlog for way too long. Yeah, because I was told I was doing it wrong. You're holding it wrong. You're supposed to hold it further out. That's just to let you know. That's not how you do it. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Uh oh. Phone office we forgot to vlog on the way here because the traffic was horrible I mean horrible <laughs> I didn't kill anyone or anything but I did see a dead deer laying on the side of an expressway it looks like he jumped off a bridge or ran into a wall I don't know Eliza's doing really well we have a great doctor Here's Eliza. say hi. hi so we're just waiting for the info it's definite she has pots I only have 24 questions to ask <laughs> so when the lady gets back in it might be a while It's on now. Hi, we're back. And we're in Philadelphia. We just finished up with a long, long, long doctor's appointment. And Pete got to sit in the waiting room the whole time. Did you have fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We don't really fun. know if you can hear us right now. It's a little windy. We're in the windy city. Not, Not really. Okay. I don't think I can turn it around. But look, the hospital's right behind us. Are you going to upgrade them on what they And said? the doctor was awesome. And I'm going to do a longer update when we're not sitting in the windy city. Peace out. Why'd you put it to me? Hi. So, how was fall day? It was never amazing. Told me. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. You didn't even get to oh. teach your class. Monkey. Gorilla? Monkey, but it's actually a gorilla. I don't know why you keep saying that. <laughs> it's a monkey. Guess it's an inside joke. But, um, I feel like I had something planned to tell oh, I got it. you. I got it. All day. But we didn't even get to help in your class. I know, you came and you just like yeah. left my lunchbox and I didn't, yeah, even, you see didn't it. even see it. So I bought pizza. And we were like running late too. I she almost so. forgot to make your lunch, by the way. Oh, I, I know that. You no, know you don't. <laughs> I, I can tell. Why, because you only got a peanut butter sandwich in there? I didn't even look. Oh. Okay, well, this is probably the last you'll see of him tonight. Sorry, you didn't really see a lot of him tonight. Oh, you'll see more of me tonight. Well, because he kind of forgot to vlog today. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow, if you're the first up, go ahead and vlog. Today, I had Fall Festival, and we have this thing called the Rock Shop. And we get tickets for doing good things, and we get to spend them. So, I wanted to show you, the guy, you guys what I got. This was his idea, by the way. I got... This monkey slash gorilla. And Is that an inside joke? I, I'm just wondering. Yeah, because me and Dad, we were like, I told him at the beginning of the year, I want to get a huge monkey at the Rock Shop <laughs> <laughs> when I get enough tickets. So I'm going to get this. And next time, I'm going to get a bigger one. I was wondering what the Rock Shop was when we were there today. Yeah, I got this. Okay, and item number one. I got... Well, this isn't from the rock shop, but it's called Riff. It's called, I don't know what it stands for. I got this book. It's Heat. by Mike Lupico. Called Heat. And Ooh, books. I like Mike Lupico. And 
the most exciting <laughs> thing, a fuzzy ball. <laughs> and we use these in gym to play this game called Snowball Action. Or there's another one too, but I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, and it's basically a game like dodgeball. But with squishy balls. It's he, you don't even know how excited he was to get this. Mm-hmm. Okay, is that all? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Okay, so in our area, these, what are they even called? Rainbow looms bracelets. Okay, rainbow loom bracelets are very, very popular, and everybody has them. I made them. <laughs> yeah, he made this one for me. I don't know how to make them. But I'm just wondering, are they popular where you guys live, too? Because this is, like, everything where we live right now. These things are everything. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, so. Oh, wait. Hold on. You want to say something? Yeah, I... I made this huge one. I connected all of my. Do you want to go get it? Yeah, I'll go get it. Okay. I made. Told you I made. I connected all of them, and I can even wrap it around my neck two times. Ooh. It's rainbow from our school colors. Prevents breast cancer. Ooh, mm. exciting! He mm. makes these things all the time, but like these. This is an advanced pattern, right? Uh, kind of. It's like the secondary. It's the secondary pattern. Mm -hmm. So, like the other one is just like circles, right? Connected. Yeah. Sort of. I, really I like those. So, do you know any advanced patterns? Uh, I'm gonna learn. They're called starburst ones, and they're like really thick. And people say they're really hard. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try one. Okay. But, and they take a lot of time. They say. Okay. Is that all you have to say? That's all I have to say. All right. Bye. <laughs> What, you're not going to do what you were just doing? Well, now we know you're recording. I'm recording. Mm hmm Here, Andrew. Weren't you supposed to open these for Eliza? Yeah, and then he said... And then he started violently opening them. Oh, I got them! Whoa! It's my final updated tonight. I'm tired. I don't feel like talking about Eliza's health stuff anymore. I've been on the phone all night updating people, updating people here, updating people there, updating, updating, updating. The update for tonight is I'm tired and I'm going to bed in a few minutes. Go ahead, everybody. Say no. You can't go to bed. I get in trouble for going to bed. How many people in their life get in trouble for going to bed? I bet there's other moms who get in trouble for going to bed early. Basic news is Eliza's starting on a bunch of new medication. The doctor was awesome. We have to go back in a month. Traffic was horrible. We ate dinner in the car. Eliza had french fries. We had pizza from the hospital cafeteria. And a cookie. And a cookie. The cookies were good. The pizza? Not so much. Pretty nasty, actually. Yeah. It looked really, really good. And the whole time she was in the hospital, I kept saying, Oh, I need to try this pizza. Pete said the same thing. Looks like the pizza's really good. And we both got pizza, and it was gross. So if you go to Chop, don't get the pizza. It's disgusting. Like, nasty. It was so nasty, I still even ate it because I was hungry. Whatever. Makes no sense. Tomorrow's an exciting day. Our photographer, Eliza, is taking engagement and family pictures of us. I'm hoping we get to get some pumpkins at some point. Oh, I didn't know we were doing that tomorrow. Well, I was hoping to get some pumpkins. I know, but I thought you said another day. Maybe another day. Who knows what's going on. And then, what else do we have on our agenda tomorrow? Val! That's it. There's Andrew's random comments going on with his games. Pete's still working at 10 o'clock on a Friday night. Eating Eliza's eating Reese's. Mammy's listening to the TV very loudly. <laughs> Don't know what it is? Hold on. Sounds like something political. No, it sounds like House Hunters or HGTV. Oh, yeah. Probably. She's watching something down there, and it's very, very loud. And she has declared tomorrow, check every heater day in the house. You need to make sure they're working. It's supposed to get cold this week. So we have to check all the heaters. So tomorrow we're going to be busy. Pictures and checking all of the heaters. And as the mom, I'm going to require this area oh. and... This area to oh. all be cleaned up. Hey. Oh, you missed the car over here, too. Hey, girl. RC car. Mm hmm. Hey, girl. All right. Have a great night. Hey, girl. See you tomorrow.